Input and output devices both are the computer hardware components. However, they perform a specific task and have several differences between them that will be discussed in this video. So hello and welcome everyone. Let me start with the definition of computer input and output devices. So let's understand the definition of input device and output devices. Input devices are the hardware components that allows the users to send data and instructions to the computer system. So they are the hardware part of our computer system that helps to enter the data and instructions to our computer system. They facilitate communication from user to the computer system. Whereas output devices are the hardware components that display or provide process data and information to the user. They display or provide the result of processing to the user. Output devices facilitate communication from computer to the user. Secondly, let's see the examples of input and output devices. So examples of input devices includes keyboards, mouse, touch screens, scanners, joysticks, microphones, webcams and so on. So all these devices are the input devices that helps to enter data or any kind of information to our computer system. Whereas the output devices examples include monitors, printers, speakers, projectors, headphones, 3D printers and so on. All these devices helps us to provide the output either in the text form or video form or in the printed format. Now let's see the third differences on the basis of function. Input devices are responsible for taking user generated data and converting it into a digital format that the computer can process. So input devices helps to transfer the user understandable data to the computer for further processing whereas the output devices receive process data from the computer and convert it into a human readable format so the output devices converts the process data into the user readable format let's understand the data flow in both input and output devices in case of input devices data flows from the input devices to the computer it means the data is transferred from the input devices to the computer system for further processing whereas in case of output devices the data flows from the computer to the output devices the process data that is inside our computer system is transferred to the display unit or other output devices now let me tell you the purpose of using both input and output devices the purpose of using input device is to enable users to interact with and provide input to the computer system. So input devices are used to provide input to the computer system. Whereas the purpose of output devices is to present information, results or responses from the computer to the user. So output devices are used to display the result of processing. In the same way, let's understand the data transformation in both input and output devices. Input devices convert physical actions like key presses, mouse movements into electrical signals or data. However, the output devices convert electronic signals or data into understandable and perceivable information, for example, the text images sounds so the output devices convert electronic signals into human understandable informations whereas the input devices convert the mouse click or entered text into the computer understandable format similarly let's see the interaction directions in case of input devices the interaction with input devices involves 
user to computer communication it means the communication starts from user to the computer whereas in case of output devices the interaction with output devices involves computer to user communication it means the data is communicated from computer to the user now let's see the role in computing loop of input and output devices input devices are essential for feeding data into the computer's processing loop so the input devices provide the data and instructions in the computer's processing loop whereas the output devices complete the computing loop by presenting the result of the processing to the user so the processing loop is completed by the output devices by providing the result of processing to the user let's see the user engagement in both input and output devices users actively engage with input devices to provide instructions or commands so users are directly engaging with the input devices in order to provide data and instructions to our computer system however in case of output devices the users passively receive information from the output devices finally let's understand the impact of input and output devices on user experience the responsiveness and the ease of use of input devices impact users efficiency and satisfaction it means if the input devices is responding well and working smoothly it will surely increase the efficiency and satisfaction of the user similarly the quality and clarity of output devices influence the user's ability to interpret and understand the information provided by the computer so the quality of the output devices helps the user to interpret and understand the information easily it should be clear enough so that the user can interpret and understand the output data so these are the top 10 differences between input and output devices i hope you have understood it clearly now if you want to know more about the input and output devices you can click on the left video and if you want to know about the computer hardware parts then you can click on the right video so see you in the next video